Right. I saw on one of your LinkedIn posts that you're actually a DSP fan. If my memory serves me right, I think you recommend people use around 10% of their budget for DSP. A lot of people avoid DSP because of attribution issues. A lot of people would argue that DSP just attributes you know, sales that might have just happened anyways, especially if you had your rank well, if you have a lot of traffic that was going to purchase anyways. What's your stance on that and why do you like DSP? Well, so I like DSP to an extent. Um, I mean, there is value in views retargeting, competitor views retargeting. Like I, that's pretty well known in the space. You know, like there's a magic number of views retargeting that naturally leads to car, less car abandonment. Um, where I'm not, a, like you kind of said, because it is views based attribution, you can spin endlessly into it. Uh, and you're just, unnaturally boosting your ROAS, your ad attributed sales, it's going to skyrocket. The, you know, and the same thing with sponsored display. If you're doing the, v, the VCPM, the view CPM, take what your search budget is, take five or 10% of that and limit your DSP retargeting or your sponsored display retargeting to that percentage. Yes, there might be some wasted ad spend, but you, at least you're limiting it to five or 10%. But there is value in views retargeting. You just have to make yeah. it, you just have to know your, your KPIs and, and how that works. But I don't recommend just the overall spending indefinitely into it. All right, that does make sense. So how do you determine how much of the sales on the actual DSP dashboard are real and how much of them are, you know, misattribution? Obviously, it's a difficult question to answer. To answer. I've seen sponsored display campaigns attributing $800,000 of sales per month that weren't really happening, at least because of the ads, they were happening organically. We ended up switching birds off and nothing happened to the account. So how do you determine how much of the sales you see on that dashboard are real? Well, so with sponsored display, if you do CPC, uh, I feel a little bit better knowing there was an additional step of a click that led to a sale. Now the AMC report uh, generally can kind of help with that, but there is some nuances to that as well as did those increased views and frequency truly lead to the sale? It's always going to be questionable. That's why I say limit it to a percentage um, and then just measure if you had any lift from doing five or 10%. If you, if your search budget's a hundred grand, and you had X number of sales and you say, okay, let's spend five grand to DSP and your sales are still flat, probably didn't uh, do anything besides just increasing ad attributed sales.